Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. Today I've got a short video on how to replace the fog light bulb in a 2013 Chrysler minivan. That applies to the Dodge Grand Caravan as well as the Chrysler Town & Country. I'm also going to give you the Mopar part number on it so you'll have something to base it off. In the meantime, I want to go ahead and grab my tools and you get ready to watch. Now here I want to give you a basic idea of where the, how you're going to access that fog light bulb. We're on the passenger side right now. And this is the fender uh, liner. Right up here is your washer bottle. And there right there with the darker colored brown connector is actually your fog light bulb. And your tan color is the bulb itself. So this is where we're going to be accessing it to. Now this side doesn't really have nothing in the way. And keep in mind we got the splash shield out of the way for now. But this is so you can see a better image of it. It's easy to get to. You don't have to take any panels loose. The driver's side has a little bit of a splash shield up under, but once again, you can reach up under and pull it off with no problem. So we need to get the connector off. Just squeeze in on the connector itself, the, the darker colored brown. That's the connector right there. And then of course, here's your bulb itself. Now the tan portion is part of it. There's a lock on both sides here and on here. You squeeze them together, pull it off. It takes two fingers to do. And there we go, that's the other bulb. All right, so I've got the bulb off. I'm gonna show you exactly what I was talking about as far as the lock. Uh, there's one on both sides you need to squeeze in order to get it loose from the housing. Sometimes you'll get one side. If you can get both fingers in there, you can pretty do a pretty good job of squeezing it and pulling it out. And it just snaps back in place. Now, this is the Mopar part number right here shows to be a PSX24W bulb. Price on this bulb through Mopar is about $34. And like I said, the it's all one piece. It's not your typical bulb you usually see. Uh, but that's what it is right there. You know, insulation and removal is pretty cut and dry. Alright, so there you go. Simple procedure for replacing that fog light bulb. It's a slightly different style of what we're used to, but nonetheless, um, it's pretty cut and dry. Now you got your part number. At this point, any kind of thumbs up on YouTube is greatly appreciated. You can like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Twitter. Just scroll down to the bottom of the video in the description section. You'll see links to both of those. In the meantime, I greatly appreciate you watching my videos. I've got more to make. You've got more to watch.